motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, this movie. What's going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new retro review. We're doing our journey to the Predator. It continues today as we discuss Predator 2, Danny Glover's version, which came out in 1990. Three years after the original Predator, which, if you guys didn't miss out on my first review, I love the original Predator. It's like a classic film for me. It's one of my favorite films is growing up. It made me an adult, in a sense, because of Arnold's big muscles. Now, Danny Glover starring in this one, and the Predator 2 takes place in L.A. in a territory. Gang wars are happening in here, and the Predator just happens to be in town. Now, this film, it's not good. It, it, it's not good at all. Like... It is cheesy, it's over the top, which, yes, the first one was all that, but in a more subtle manner, and more of a manner that holds up. Predator 2 is cheesy, over the top, disconfigured, and just never found its stride. It never knew what it wanted to be. It felt very over the top in a sense of being a comedy and a parody, and at times it felt very serious and dramatic. It never found that right line of what it wanted to be, but Predator 2 has some awesome moments that are so bad, but are so good. But before we get into all those, I want to let's talk about the pros, though. The pros in here is Danny Glover. Danny Glover is awesome. Awesome in here, charismatic, loving. You love him. And it's not, maybe it's just because it is Glover himself. It's not... But it's just, you don't see him in these roles where he's playing a big badass. He's he's a badass. He's a cop. He destroys patrol cars. He kills people. And just so you know, like, spoilers. There might be spoilers in here. This isn't a film you need to see, but... You know, it's Danny Glover. He's kicking ass, taking names, and he has a cool little group of people. He's this badass cop who's also a bad person in a sense because he's not the best cop in the department. Like, he is, but he isn't. The cops think he's bad because he destroys all these patrol cars. Yes, this is an actual line, and it, it's just, yeah. But it's Danny Glover, and he's fun, and he keeps saying, Motherfucker! Or fuck you. And those, excuse my language, but seriously, those are like some of the best parts of the whole film. Is every time he says that, you know, Samuel Jackson is known for having the best emphasis on saying the F word. And Danny Glover in this film has some of the best emphasis of ever saying the F word as well. I love the way that he says it. Also, Bill Paxton, rest in peace to him, but he's also in this film. And at first, I didn't like his character. It was very like, oh, hey, I'm the, I'm the funny cop, blah, blah, blah. But you kind of get a sense to liking him. Maybe again, and maybe it's just because it's Bill Paxton, but you get a sense to liking his character more. Now, the other good thing about this film is the Predator. You get a little bit more of him. You get a little bit more action scenes with him. See a little bit more of his mechanics. See his shit see more of them that that's what was cool about here and i love seeing more of the predator and just again the mountain dew blood going everywhere you see him kicking butt taking names slashing people putting stuff in him and it's bloody it's r-rated gore and blood and you get more of the predator i just never like when the predator talks though like can we talk about that like I just don't like when they talk. Like, it just seems really cheesy, but at the same time, like, it's such a small gripe. I just... The Predator in here is badass. That, that, that's what you come to the film to see. I would have liked to see more of him. Of course, the Predator is taking out all these gangs, because there's two different gangs, which this is, like, probably the most over-the-top thing about the film is this voodoo Jamaican gang, man, and this Colombian gang, I think? I'm not 100%. I'm pretty sure it's Colombian, even though I just watched the movie yesterday. I'm not 100% sure on that. I should have done my research, but obviously I did not care enough about this film to look into that. But yeah, so there, there's these rival gangs fighting, and it's just insane. Like, how over the top, especially the Jamaican voodoo ones are like, Jesus, like, just the way that their, like, bases look. The way that they string people up like predators. So you can't really tell what the difference is unless they're skinned. There's one scene where a sex scene is happening. But it's, like, panning in from a wide shot. So you can't tell it's sex yet. But it just says moaning. But it literally sounded like the girl was dying. Like, it did not sound realistic at all. And I started laughing super hard. Like, this film has those moments where you laugh because it's so over the top and so stupid and so dumb. And that's what this film is. It, it doesn't hold up at all. Yeah, there's some nice action beats in here. And yeah, Danny Glover's awesome. And so is Bill Paxton. They're both charismatic as hell, but their characters are assholes. You don't really like their characters. They're not... They're fun versions of themselves. And that's why you like them. The action here is decent. The Predator's cool. And there's some good comedic beats in here. But it always felt like they took the first Predator film, shook it up really fucking hard, and made it the super over-the-top movie that it didn't need to be. The first one was perfect in its manner. And I do think the idea of taking it into an LA-centric area with a city like is cool we got a jungle now it's cool to see a city that's kind of the next place you'd want to see the predator invade and yeah it's cool we get to see more predator we get to see some little easter eggs in this film from different time periods that the predator is and it really felt like they were trying to build 
a sequel up for either Danny Glover or for the Predators to go to a different time period and explain like where they've been and how long they've been going around. Obviously, that didn't happen because the next film to come out after this that actually, I guess, tied in, I guess, would be The Predators, which we'll be talking about on Monday with Adrian Brody. But that that's where this film is. It just it doesn't work and execute in the right manner that it does. It, there's some good moments in here. There's some awesome action sequences. The last action sequence, Danny Glover and the Predator fighting, is badass. It has the slow mo shots. It has the gun action. Gary Busey's in here. He's over the top as well. He's nice in here. I, I like a nice addition in here too. But the film's not memorable. It, it's pretty bad. It's one of those films that you drink and take a shot for every time something stupid happens on the screen. And in a sense, I can understand this being someone's guilty pleasure. I don't like this movie. I didn't. I enjoyed it for what it was, but it's not a good movie. And I can't recommend it either. It doesn't hold up to the first film, and it's not a good film to watch. I don't know if I ever watched this, because this was actually my first time ever actually watching the full film in length. I had never really seen the first thing. I would seen glimpses of it, but never watched it connectively. So, Predator 2, 1999 Predator. It's all right, and not the film that you're wanting right after the first Predator. So with all that said, I'm going to give the Predator 2 a D. Tell me, guys, what are your thoughts on the Predator 2? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's a guilty pleasure? Do you love watching this film and laughing to it? Comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are. If you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there, because right down there, you, we provide you with advanced movie screens, movie news, and also movie reviews. But of course, guys, until next time, stay classy and have a great rest of your day. <laughs>